Hi everyone, and welcome to Extinct Field Guide. It's me, Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to do a short commander deck tech for Bolden, Century Herdmaster, which is still ostensibly related to extinct animals because he is, in my opinion, riding and herding aurochs, which are definitely extinct. I will also mention, as a heads up, while some of these cards have been tested, not all of them have. In addition, this deck tech will be shorter than the ones I've done in the past on my other channel, with me just going over the highlights for the most part. Anyways, without any further ado, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I should probably discuss the commander for this deck tech, that being Balden, Century Herdmaster. He is 4 white white for a 07 legendary creature human warrior. As long as it's your turn, each creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Whenever Balden, Century Herdmaster, attacks, up to 100 target creatures each get plus zero plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So, you can probably figure out what we're going to be doing with this deck, uh, making a bunch of creature tokens and then pumping them up, but how exactly do we go about that? Well, the first category we need for Balden is the ability to draw cards to help with his pumping ability, which, quite frankly put, is not something that Mono White is very good at at all. However, there is some means for us to draw cards with this deck. This deck is a token deck, so cards like Benny Brax, Zoologist, Rumor Gatherer, Mentor of the Meek, Welcoming Vampire, Tokazia's Welcome, and Platoon Dispenser all fit really well into this deck. In addition, some cards like Aerial Extortionist provide removal, and Love Song of Night and Day, Cut a Deal, and Secret Rendezvous can provide a sudden burst of card draw, allowing us to hopefully pump our creatures before our opponents can really do much of anything and close out the game. The second main thing needed is ways to give Balden haste. This may have been an issue I had in testing, or it's just something I predict will happen, I don't quite remember. However, the addition of new haste cards definitely helped the deck run better in the admittedly single 1v1 game I have run with the new cards. Anyway, my version of this deck runs the staples, Lightning Greaves, and Swiftfoot Boots, as well as the cheap to cast and equip Ring of Vulcus, and the really fun Obsidian Battleaxe, as Balden is a warrior, so it will auto-equip to him, which is really nice. The next category is ways to make a bunch of tokens. However, as Balden does not give any evasion, I focused mainly on flying tokens, but there are some exceptions, such as Myojin of Blooming Dawn and Rabble Rousing. However, this deck has ways to make a bunch of tokens all at once, such as Storm Hurt and Entreat the Angels, as well as more residual ways of making flying tokens, such as through cards like Luminarch Ascension, Sacred Mesa, Zarium Golden Wind, Twilight Drover, Amiria Angel, and Custody Soul Binders. Then, to conclude, we have payoffs, protection, and winning the game. For example, we have Luminarch Veteran, and its flip side, Luminous Phantasm, Soul Warden, Oriok Champion, and Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, to gain life, Teferi's Protection, Grand Crescendo, and Clever Concealment, to protect our board, and Elspeth's Sun's Champion, Rally of Wings, and Akroma's Will, can definitely close out a game in addition to our commander. So, that concludes a summary of my Balden Century Herdmaster deck slash a deck tech for it. The full deck list can be found in the description of the video. What do you think of my deck for Balden Century Herdmaster? Let me know in the comments down below. What changes would you make to it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.